What's up guys? It's Eric from Ferris Engineering and we are on uh, the new side of our shop, which is all car stuff. Um, and today on our video, we're going to be doing the Ventus 2 Plus package on our shop 987.2. Uh, most of these parts do fit the 987.1, uh, with the, the exception of, I believe, just the front splitter. Yeah, I believe it's just the front splitter at this point, uh, though we are working for you.1 guys on a possible solution there. So for today's video, we're going to start with the front, work with the, the front splitter, go to the, the side splitters, then the underbody panel, then the rear fuser, and then we'll drop it down. We'll also we'll then look at the front splitter from the top side, the dive planes, and then finally the rear wing and the carbon spoiler. So to start with, we have our front splitter. The front splitter does come with a 2x2 twill autoclave cured, cured air dam. So that brings the, sp uh, the splitter blade down parallel to the ground. Depending on the rake of the vehicle, it may actually uh, be pointed down ever so slightly, which is beneficial. We do recommend running rake on these cars. The front splitter blade is made of that carbon thermoplastic material that you may have seen on the GT4 video. As you've seen, as you can see, we've actually hit it quite a few times uh, going in and out of the shop, driveways, uh, various road hazards, and overall, it just frays a tiny bit. It's not getting destroyed, and it'll continue to wear like that. We won't run into real big issues. So I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask, is the chassis mounted? Yes and no. It's bolted to both the bumper and chassis locations. However, it can handle a significant amount of downforce, and it does produce over 300 pounds at 120 miles an hour doesn't have a problem handling that kind of load. Now, both Paul and I have stood on the top. Um, it's not something exactly I would, I would advise doing. It is hard on the parts, but uh, it does handle that kind of load. It's harder on the parts because it's so, um, you're basically putting a significant amount of load in a very small area where aero is all the way around. Um, regardless, it does show that it can handle that weight. As you can see, it is most definitely uh, a development vehicle. Uh, we do take it to the track very often. So these are actually laser ride height sensors that you see here. Um, we have been working on dialing in the suspension. We're also using it to validate our aerodynamic forces so we can actually see that the suspension is compressing at the end of the front stretch. Um, yep, so there's one in each of those. Um, also another cool thing that you kind of see with our front splitters there's this large, shallow cut. This does aid in uh, downforce. So e everything that we do, we design in the name of function. Uh, we then also try to make everything uh, aesthetically pleasing. So moving rearward, we have our side splitters. This is what makes, this is the difference between a Ventus 2 and a Ventus 2 Plus kit. Um, the side splitters honestly do not do a ton as far as uh, aerodynamic performance, but they look awesome. They really do tie the kit together. Um, shout out to Gear One Performance for forcing us to do this. Um, they do increase downforce, it's just not as much as, say, the front splitter, the dive planes, the rear fuser, or the rear wing. It is the least um, functional product on the car uh, as it is. They are really neat in that they utilize um, these actual billet aluminum pieces that go into OEM, location, uh, OEM holes. So you don't actually have to drill any holes to install these. These actually go up and then you can tighten a nut as you see here um, and, you, and you don't have to drill any holes in your car which is really cool, at least in, in my opinion. Moving further rearward, we spy the third laser ride height sensor which is installed on our sheet aluminum underbody panel. So this, with the turn down lips, uh, reduce drag significantly in the rear end, basically by increasing or decreasing um, dirty turbulent air. As you can see, we do leave openings for the transmission to get some cooling. Uh, we did notice that on our PDK car that we had to add a gear cooler to cool the PDK enough to last uh, 20 minutes on track, 
However, that is not a result of the underbody panel. That is a result of the car just not having enough cooling because multiple other cars uh, have ran into this issue. Um, BGB and LNN Engineering all ran into the same issue. I actually purchased the cooling kit off of um, BGB. Moving further rearward, the underbody panel pulls directly to the rear diffuser, and this is what produces a decent amount of rear downforce for our Porsche 987. It comes with plastic straights. These have actually been hit as well. I mean, the car really does see a decent bit of driving, but being plastic, they bend out of the way instead of being carbon and breaking. So it's really neat. Um, they also are replaceable if you ever run into damaging them that much. Um, everything holds on without actually drilling any holes, which is really cool in our opinion. Uh, sheet aluminum brackets for the most part, carbon on the rear diffuser, sheet aluminum underbody panel, everything is pretty stout. Uh, I guess at this point we can lower the car back down. All right, so from the top side, you can now see the top of the splitter. You can see the air dam a little bit better. I uh, apologize for it being so dirty. It really does get tracked quite a bit, and it's kind of out in the country, so there are a lot of bugs. Um, but again, it can handle quite a bit of downforce all throughout the, the lip. We created the dive planes to aid in evacuating the front uh, fenders. It also creates a nice vortice down the side of the car to help seal and reduce drag further on down the car. Side splitters look pretty neat from the top, at least we, we think so. The turn down lip does improve uh, performance ever so slightly, but again, as far as functional performance goes, the side splitters just are not there compared to the, all the, the rest of the parts. Um, they do really tie together the kit though and, and look really great. 2x2 two two twill carbon on that again uh, with a matte clear automotive UV resistant clear. And don't mind the tape. Yeah, the wires, those are for wires. All right, so moving to the final rear piece is our rear wing. This is our prized gem, I guess you could say. Um, we spent, I don't know, Paul probably spent two years developing this wing profile um, using uh, ANSYS Adjoint Solver. It is an optimization program within ANSYS. Um, it has really good properties. As far as 300 millimeter cord wings go, um, I think it'd be very hard pressed to find something that performs better as far as uh, high downforce with a very efficient Cord profile. Um, it comes with everything you see here. So it comes with the carbon spoiler, which bolts to the OEM trunk that does require holes to be drilled. We include a template. It comes with the billet uprights, 6061 T6 aluminum. It comes with the billet mounts, um, NAS, which is mil spec hardware. And then the carbon airfoil profile comes with the plastic wicker, and it comes with carbon fiber end plates, which have a bunch of um, optimization to them with, as far as the vent's concerned. These uh, evacuate high pressure air, and then these feed low pressure, um, feed airflow to the low pressure side to increase efficiency. This nice little washout area or turn lip um, also improve efficiency. The rear wing can handle about 700 pounds, which is what it basically generates at 120 to 140 depending on angle of attack. Now, the entire kit produces about a thousand pounds of vehicle downforce at 120. It's just what we do here. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in to this uh, basically informative video on our Ventus 2 Plus kit on our Shop 987. Uh, feel free to subscribe and like us. If you want any more of these videos or if you want, if you have other suggestions, please leave us a comment, send us an email. We're always open to suggestions. We're always trying to uh, gain some feedback from our customer base. Thanks.